Luna Moth Creations and I have a box. I'm so excited. So this is probably my favorite witchy subscription box at this point. Um, I've got a lot <laughs> of subscriptions and this one has just, I've been so pleased with everything that's come in this box. And if you guys didn't read the title, this is the Sacred Space Crate for March. Oh my God, I don't know what's in here, y'all, but it smells good. So anyways, hi, I'm Lisa. If you've never uh, watched one of my videos, thank you for stopping in. On this channel, I do witchy subscription unboxings as well as self-care subscription unboxings, tarot and oracle deck reviews and unboxings. And again, today, Sacred Space Crate. Um, if you're one of my current subscribers, thanks for coming back, I appreciate y'all. So I opened this box and immediately we have a paper that says Ostara. So let me just read the top, I don't wanna know what it says. Okay, so, Ostara is about the promise of spring, birth, and fertility. It is the moment just before light overtakes dark. And the sun once again lights and warms our earth. It is that special time in the year when everything is on balance. There is as much light as dark, as much male energy as female, and as much inner and outer. The spring, spring equinox is a reminder that it's time to celebrate and plant seeds, both metaphorically and physically, for what we want to bring to bloom in the upcoming season. It's also a time when we honor all the things we've achieved since the winter solstice. It's time to bloom, breathe, create, procreate, and reap the sweetness of what we've manifested as we're brought even closer to the light. Before Christianity came to dominate the cultures of Europe, most pagans celebrated festivals on or near the equinox, often honoring deities associated with fertility and abundance. One such deity was Ostara, also known as, I don't know how to pronounce this, it almost looks the same to me, but it's E-O-S-T-R-E. -E. Um, I just say Ostara. A Northern European goddess of fertility who was worshiped in many areas populating, excuse me, populated by Germanic tribes as part of the strategy to absorb and therefore eliminate the pagan religions. The Christians eventually adopted the name Easter for their own spring holiday, and the equinox festivals gradually declined over time. However, as we know, the old religion never fully disappeared. Just as with Yule, some traditions that are now associated with Easter actually have pagan roots. For example, painting, painting eggs with a custom was a custom among Druids and ancient Eastern European cultures, and the rabbit has always been a symbol of fertility. So if you grew up with these typical Easter customs, you've already tapped into the power of Ostara. I love honoring and celebrating the pagan Sabbaths because it is another way to stay in touch with nature in the turning of the energies and magic that it bestows. I curated this box with the intention of bringing the magic of spring into your home sacred space. So we will look at that later. So then we have our uh, March calendar. And um, if you're not familiar with this box, they do this calendar every month, month, which I put right over by my computer so I can see every day. But it tells you um, the moon phases and then um, if, it, if there's a Sabbath or whatever. So we've got Ostara. And actually, um, Ostara is on my granddaughter's birthday, or it's her birthday is on Ostara. <laughs> So we have that. Oh, how pretty. And then we have an Ostara artwork. Oh, how fun. Here, I'll put this up here. If you guys want to pause and read, there's a lot of info. But how pretty. But anyway, so she tells a little bit about, about Ostara, which actually I think it's the same wording that um, at the beginning of her paperwork. And then there's Ostara spells and rituals, Ostara symbolism, activities. 
and it says more symbolism symbols food and drink herbs deities very nice um this just like totally popped in my head <laughs> have you guys ever watched the show american gods my boyfriend just got me into it it's on uh stars so i actually upgraded my hulu to include stars i don't think it was that expensive i can't remember exactly but american gods um their stories aren't quite right but it's about uh, like mythical gods and um ostara is played by christian chenowich oh my god anyways it's perfect Okay, so there's that. And then we have some pink paper with a little Ostara Sacred Space Crate sticker. Oh, I hate to ruin these. It smells amazing in here. So lots of crinkle paper. First off, we've got fertility incense sticks. Spill it. That smells lovely. Do I have my, oh, I do. Let me get my, I have a lighter. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna light some up. I don't, oh, it smells amazing. And when I do my giveaway box that I'm gonna be, probably tonight, after my boyfriend goes to sleep because, um, oh hell, let me do that again. Um, you know, I'm a night shifter. I'm off tonight, but I need to stay on my night shift, um, life because <laughs> I have to work tomorrow night. So, mm, sit it right back there. Awesome. Um, so I'll probably go through all my stuff tonight and hair issues as usual um and decide what's gonna go in that box and i have planned on going ahead and giving a stick or two of like every incense that i've gotten and then we have just a little tea light candle with a little flower design on it okay I'm trying to decide what i want to do here okay i'm just gonna rummage through so then we have a Rebirth Spring Equinox Ceremony candle. So there's the sticker on top. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. Look how pretty it is. There's lovely things in it. Is it sunstone? There's a... There's like some... Bigger chips and little chips. It almost looks like maybe sunstone and peridot. Oh, it smells amazing. So if you guys didn't know, Sacred Space Crate actually featured my last video. So was it, the, was it February? I th guess it was the February box on their website. So if you go, if you click the link, I'll leave the link below. Um, to subscribe, um, my video is there for February. They've got different people unboxing things for different um, months, and mine, I believe, is the February one. I'm, thanks, Melissa. <laughs> All right, we've got some oil, Spring Equinox Ritual Oil, and it says Rebirth. Look. Look at all the yummies in there. Oh, it has a seal. Hold on. If I can get it open. Okay. Mmm. can't wait to find out what all the the yummers are oh and I think there's little sunstones in there too I could be wrong maybe it's 
something entirely different, but it almost looks like Flintstone. Okay, now we have a pink organza bag, and it's, oh, this, oh, it says Sunstone. Okay, Sunstone opaque. Very good, so I guess I'm right on the, um, on the stone that she's using. It almost looks like um, peach moonstone. I've got like a ton of peach moonstone right there. Um, but this is sunstone opaque. So there's that. I mean, it's opaque. It's not the name of the stone. Okay. It's hard to figure out what I want to get. So then we have organic healing salve, gardener's hands, which has grapeseed oil, calendula flower, rosemary leaves, lavender flower, sweet almond oil, and phenonip. phenonip. I don't, I was gonna say, usually they don't smell, but this one actually, maybe I'm crazy. It might be because I'm smelling all this stuff. But anyways, she always has like the greatest like little salves and stuff. I'll tell you, my, you know, I don't work at the bedside anymore. Um, I actually have a, um, a desk job as a nurse. <laughs> Um, and I work from home now, which is amazing. But when I did work at the bedside, oh my God, my hands would crack and bleed from how often I washed my hands and I used like um, the alcohol to sanitize. But anyways, so yeah, I would have totally needed <laughs> this back then. But I mean, even in the winter, my hands are still yuck, so. Um, that's very nice. Exciting to get some more salves from her. Just don't know what to get. Okay, and then we have Ostara Wildflower Offering, and it says Ritual Seeds. Oh, fun. So it's just a little bag. We'll read about that in a little bit. All right, we got, oh, this is our herb. She also puts her herbs in the, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to burst all the little bubbles. So we have calendula. So she puts them in these cute, like they have a flat side to them. So you could put them up here and, oh, I guess you guys can't see that. But anyways, when it sits up, you can see the, the name of it, which I love. So we've got, Lots of calendula in there. Very nice. Okay. I think I only have one more small thing. Oh, how cute is this box? How fun is that ribbon? It's got like pink little petals on it. Oh. I'm gonna have to save this ribbon because that's awesome. Okay. Oh, and look, so it's got like, you know, what looks like grass in here. And then we have a rose quartz, or it looks like rose quartz, um, like tumbled, Pendant on a silver chain. How pretty. Put it on. Let's see if I can do this without taking forever. Okay. Oh, how pretty. And how cute is that grass in there? That's adorable. I don't know what that's. It's very cute, very Ostara. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without making the biggest mess. I'm, ooh, it got smashed, ooh. 
she put on here, she put it on the box handle with care. Oh, there's something else in here. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I got another. Awesome. It's either, is that blue calcite? I'm gonna say that's either blue calcite or maybe angelite. I don't think it's celestite because it's celestite up there and that's, um, it looks kind of waxy. I'm gonna say blue calcite. Um, I don't know. I'm sticking with blue calcite, angelite, I'm leaning away from Celestite, but then again, it's a rough piece, so it might be. Actually, it might be Celestite. Okay, anyways, I have one up there. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else here. I don't think so. So, she packs the heck out of it, but yeah, they. Um, she put on here this, here, let me cover up my, my address, but she put on there Handle With Care fragile handle with care um but that doesn't always happen all right and then there's a sticker that says ostara i figure out which way to pull this out oh my god i'm so excited okay so we see the back first and there is a I don't want to look at it. There's a sticker on the back and then there's something to hang it with. <gasps> Sorry, my son's starting to, my, the, not my son, the son is starting to come in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ostara blessings. And it's like a nice plaque. Do you see how thick that is? Oh my God. I'm like, I don't know where to put it. My boyfriend hates me. I just made him hang. Um, well, it was from this last box. It was the, um, the uh, dream catcher. God, I couldn't think of it. It's actually right up here. It's not in my bedroom because um, I forget why. My boyfriend is very like, he likes structure and geometric shapes and stuff. And he felt like it would not be in balance if we put it over my bed. <laughs> so whatever, it's above my altar now, which I have another dream catcher like over there, so which again, I'm going to show you guys all my stuff. I need to clean this room. I moved in here the end of November and uh, I'm still trying to figure out where to put everything. So, one of these days. But anyways, oh my gosh. I am telling you, Sacred Space Crate is awesome. I feel like they're they're always surprising me with something. Um, you know, you get the usual this, that, and the other. A lot of companies do the same things over and over again. Um, which, I mean, she gets this our herb and, you know, different things, but I don't know. I just, I feel like she surprises me. And just, I'm so like, anyway, I really need to get her element plaques because I started subscribing to her a little late. She had done like an element series and uh, all I got was the, all I have is the earth um, little plaque that she has, but I really wanna get the other three, the um, fire, water and um, air because I want to hang them at the four corners. So that way when I'm casting a circle, you know, I don't have to look at my compass because um, I'm spacing and I'll forget what direction's what. Um, so that is what I want to do, and I will probably do that very soon. Okay, let's get into it. So we have our custom Ostara 
black that I'm so excited. I gotta figure out where in the world to put it. It's so great. Okay. Um, it is so hard to find decor for your altar that is specifically for Ostara. So I decided to design this plaque that you can use every year during this time and then store it away until next year if you wish. Yeah, I know. I need to keep the little box here. Man, Melissa, can you do me a favor? Can you please design me a plaque for um, every Sabbath? So that way when I take this one down, I can put another one up. Please. Maybe you already decided to do that. Okay, all right. So, this hand-painted plaque represents the blessing that spring brings. The rabbits represent fertility and the egg represents birth. They are looking up at the pinnacle in the triple moon to call down the magic of the moon goddess and the earth's elements into your altar sacred space. Yeah, I feel like if I put it like right here, um, God, my, my boyfriend hates me. <laughs> uh, okay, rose quartz pendant necklace. Okay, yes, it feels rose quartz. This 925 uh, silver, sterling silver chain is adorned with a rose quartz crystal pendant. Rose quartz is known as the stone of unconditional love, one of the most important stones for heart chakra work. Rose quartz opens the heart to all types of love, love of self, love of family, love of friends, romantic love. Because it is a type of quartz, rose quartz has a very high energy. However, these high energy vibrations feel calming and soothing. The soothing energy of rose quartz fosters empathy, reconciliation, and forgiveness of others, lowering stress and tension in the heart. Rose quartz clears out anger, jealousy, and resentment of others, and allows healing of heart issues and disease associated with holding onto such negative emotions. Called the heart stone, rose quartz may have been used as a love token as early as 600 BC and is still an important talisman of relationships. It is quite effective in attracting new love, romance, and intimacy, or in developing a closer bond with friends and family. It supports connection within groups and communities and carries a high spiritual attunement to the earth, universe, and the divine. Element, blah, blah, blah. Element of water, planet Venus, deities Venus, Isis, Aphrodite, and Adonis, chakra heart, Zodiac signs of Taurus and Libra. The tarot is the lovers and Sabbath Oster. Then we have, okay. I was, I was right in one of my guesses. We have a rough angelite. Very good. I thought that it wasn't waxy enough for um, uh, blue calcite. And it just really didn't look like celestite to me. So angelite, yay. I do not have a rough angelite. I don't think. I just had I just got like a small little baby tower little baby tower angelite is a powerful crystal for Ostara because it creates balance and harmony in your life I should like here hold on let me I'm gonna cleanse it um, it supports emotional healing and promotes positive energy angelite helps you to let go of old hurts but it also allows you to release anger and resentment from your life Angelite is a stone of spiritual inclusiveness as it brings harmony into your life through forgiveness, compassion, acceptance, and love. It also promotes communication internally and within yourself. Very nice. Okay, that incense smells great. Angelite is used to balance the throat chakra which is a very important chakra for the spring equinox because it helps us let go of bad moods and negative feelings through clear communication. Being able to communicate helps us relax into positive energy. Angelite is also used to balance the hormones of the thyroid gland. You can use a chisel and hammer to break your angelite crystal in half if you received one that is a solid round stone. Ah, okay, well I already have, mine, mine is a half, so I'm happy with that. It's going to go right up here to display. And then we have our sunstone bracelet. The spiritual meaning of sunstone is a representation of the ultimate energetic source of light, 
warmth and life on our planet. Its rich reddish orange, fac reddish orange facets contain all the healing power as the star, which shines high in our sky. It is a representation of Ra in Egyptian mythology. Um, so this is the eye of Horus, the left eye. The eye of Ra is the, um, the right eye. So he's kind of more connected to the moon. Ra is connected to the sun. And Helios in Greek mythology, both representations of sun gods. Even further back, indigenous peoples believe that this crystal fell during solar eclipses, a part of our sun fallen from heaven. Other cultures refer to it as a phenomenal stone for its way in which the light changes off its many angles during the day, with some even only wearing it on Sunday. Oh, that's fun. By working with sunstone, it can refocus, excuse me, you can refocus. Oh, that, you know, that just made me think of something. So all the, uh, pretty much every stone has like a associations and everything. Wouldn't that be cool to just like break this shit out on Sunday? Anyway, you could do that with all kinds of stuff. That just sounds really fun. Okay. And then she said this one is associated with Ostara, so I could be making sure I'll wear me some rose quartz on Ostara. All right. I lost my spot. Okay. By working with Sunstone, you can focus on pursuing the passions and drives that light a fire in your soul. This stone is not about inner reflection, it's about outer action, taking charge, manifesting your dreams, and improving your can-do attitude. I need to wear this today. Sunstone is all about freedom, self-empowerment, and independence, and this stone can indeed be your best companion. Sunstone will give you an extra boost of energy when you're feeling stressed or under the weather. It's a natural, God, all this stuff smells so good. It's a natural anti-anxiety, ant, ugh. I made, I made words up just now. It's a natural antidepressant, so it will also keep sad thoughts and emotions away. It will fill your life with enthusiasm, optimism, and encouragement. Its energies will make you feel glad to be alive, and you will be filled with energy and cheer. By wearing a sunstone bracelet, you can soak up all the benefits of having this soul-stirring stone pressed right against your skin. Awesome. Um, I told you guys that I am gonna be starting to make Bath and Body products, like my own stuff, because I love it so much, and I kind of want some witchy shit going on. Um, so today, I'm gonna be in my bath bomb kitchen, making some things, <laughs> and uh, this will be a good boost of energy to uh, work with all my stuff. Okay, so then we have Calendula flowers in the herb bottle. Calendula is gold to any healer's apothecary. It not only heals, but it also, but is also known as the flower of the sun. Calendula is the traditional, he loves me, he loves me not flower, making it useful for love potions and symbolizes love and con constancy in a relationship. It is said to strengthen and comfort the heart when picked at noon. It is said once you collect frost, collect the soil from where a prospective lover has stepped, oh, that's cute, and place it in the pot of a calendula flower, the health of the plant will indicate the health of the relationship. Um, I'm gonna have to try this with my boyfriend. <laughs> Hang calendula over the door to keep negativity and evil from entering. When the petals are scattered under the bed or placed inside a pillow, they encourage prophetic dreams and offer protection while sleeping. I feel like maybe the little dream sachet that she made or sachet oh my god i know that's how you say it um that she made last month has calendula in it i think okay okay it is said calendula will grant a vision of anyone who has stolen something from the bearer and carry to bring favor to matters of court or legal proceedings to receive respect and admiration from everyone you meet, take a bath with petals or calendula-infused water. Nice. Calendula is also considered a lucky herb. Lucky herb. Sleep with a green bag filled with calendula, calendula to 
you know what? I think I might be pronouncing this wrong. Somebody pronounced it um, calendula. So what do you guys think? Calendula or calendula? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna keep calling it calendula, calendula, because that's what I've been calling it. So maybe I'm just being like <laughs> ridiculous. I don't know. Okay, where were we? Okay. Sleep with a green bag filled with calendula to promote luck. It is said that one will have a lucky dream followed by good fortune when playing games of chance, such as slots, kino, lottery, and bingo. Nice. All right, and then we got our spring equinox ceremonial candle. This beautiful. I feel like there's, I don't know what, it smells so good, okay. This hand poured soy hand poured soy candle was curated with the intention of bringing the energies of rebirth and new beginnings. The green candle represents new growth on earth. Sunstone chips as an ode to the sun filled with green peridot. I know my crystals for the most part <laughs> to bring good health and peace. This friendly bright green stone also has the uncanny ability to inspire eloquence and creativity. It also brings delight and good cheer. Also known as the Stone of Compassion, the White Chrysanthemum, there was a White Chrysanthemum in there. This guy. Represents happiness, love, longevity, and joy. Scented with Lotus Blossom, bring this candle on your altar or in your sacred space during the spring Equinox Ostara. Oh my god, I love it. And then we have our Spring Equinox Ritual Oil. This beautiful... Yes. The Ritual Oil is scented with lotus blossoms and filled with rose petals, jasmine, calendula, and chrysanthemum flowers to represent growth and beauty. Sunstone chips, as it is the stone of the sun, and quartz crystal chips to magnify the magic of your spells. Use this oil to anoint your magical items, altar, and yourself. Can also be used in all your growth, beauty, and love spells. Then we have Ostara Wildflower Offering Seeds. It is these. Here is something you can use to give back to our Mother Earth. Spring season is the best time to plant seeds. I'm so excited, I'm gonna plant some shit, okay. Plant these seeds with intention and a goal for the season in mind, along with gratefulness and an open heart as your hands adjoin with the earth. Find a small area, whether it be in your yard, someone else's yard, or in the woods. It doesn't matter where you plant them, but try to find a spot that you can visit from time to time to connect with your magic. Planting seeds is very personal, and it is important to follow your own instincts and form of magic but here are a few suggestions that you can follow if you wish. I have a black thumb or I don't have a thumb, actually. I don't have a gardener's thumb. Uh, I've never really planted anything. Okay, so this will be fun. So it says burn a small white tea light in the space where you will plant beforehand to clear the energy. Oh, that's fun. Cast a circle using your finger or a wand, not salt, around yourself in the area where you will plant and remove this, remove the circle when finished with your planting ritual. Always plant seeds with your bare hands. It is important that your skin is in the earth. Soften up the soil before planting. Sprinkle your seeds on top of the soil then lightly run your hands over the top layer of earth to lightly cover the seeds or else the birds will eat every seed. Always water your seeds after planting as this is your final element. Air, fire, sun, and a tea light candle, earth and water. Awesome, that's so fun, I'm gonna do this. Uh, and then it has the flower um, tea light candle. I included this white flower tea light candle to either burn on your Ostara altar or to burn before your wildflower offering ritual to clear old energy from the space, which is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> 
I washed my hair. I don't know if it looks like it. Um, fertility incense sticks. Oh, girl. We're not doing any kind of fertility with my body, but we would like to do fertility in other things because God, it smells good. Okay. These hand-dipped incense sticks are a serene floral blend with notes of juicy peach, black currant, lilac, jasmine, spicy, high synth, and warm vanilla bean. God, it smells so good. This blend will get those juices flowing and motivate you to start planting seeds to accomplish your goals for the year. Hashtag, I got goals. Okay. Gardener's Hands Healing Salve. After all your hands, after all your hands in the dirt planting, your hands can take quite a beating. This gardener's hand healing salve is amazing for healing all those scrapes and dry patches. Made with calendula, rosemary, and lavender for their incredible skin healing qualities and sweet almond oil to soften those dry patches. This will become your hands new best friend this season. Awesome. I bet my boyfriend would enjoy that too. He's a mechanic, so he works with his hands every day. So then we have our Ostara artwork. This beautiful in bulk artwork was hand drawn and designed by Tim Samantha Trick, AKA Schmoosie, Schmoosie, Okay, so on Instagram and Facebook, S-H-M-O-O-S-E-Y, Schmoosie. This artwork will be part of the Sabbath series, series this year. Maybe Melissa already listened to me. I'm feeling it. All right. And then we have our moon in the zodiac calendar for March. Put that up close. And then also you have the um, moon in the zodiac. I think this just tells you oh i know what it is sorry so say the full moon what is this month libra full moon is on the 28th yes libra okay so when the 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 moon is in libra so libra is a sign of diplomacy balance and visual appeal a good time to work on relationships find personal balance and hang out with friends. So those are things to work on this full moon because we'll be in Libra. So it's good to know what sign, even if you don't follow astrology, but if you work with the moon, it's good to know what sign it's in. So you kind of work with the energies that are already at play. Um, so it'll boost the energy of your intention, spell, whatever you're doing. All right, this is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is very important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with oh, sorry, guys. Oh, on earth and within our bodies. It is very important in understanding what, did I already say that? What energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Lee Trick. And I already told you her info. It is important to note that the moon in the zodiac explanations on the back is not your personal zodiac sign reading. It's an explanation of how the energy from the moon in the zodiac affects everyone's energy as a whole, regardless of what your personal zodiac sign is. This is why the readings remain the same. I hope you are able to connect with the items in this box to bring in all the magic that Astara has to offer you. Um, and then she just gives you a reminder. So um, there will be no box for April, sad tears, but um, so she's moving her home and her business. So she's just wanting like a month to transition for all of that. Um, subscriptions will renew in April for the May box. So if, um, if you do subscribe um, and you miss that information, just know that um, you'll be getting charged not this month, but you'll be getting charged in April for the May box. And this is exciting. So the May box theme is Spellcaster. And it says, 
Oh, but she also says thank you for appreciating um, and being understanding of her moving around and stuff like that. This, okay, so the spellcaster box. This box will encourage you to write and practice your own spells. The magic is in you, and with practice, perseverance, and confidence, your magic is the most effective magic to use in your craft. I am very excited to delve into this practice with you. Have a blessed and magical Ostara season. Many blessings to you, Melissa, with the Sacred Space Crate. And I forget, I forget what it's called, but she is starting some other thing with her company. Um, she, I'll, I'll put a link. Well, it won't be a link. It'll be just information because I don't have a link yet. Um, but I don't know if it's another subscription box. I don't know if it's just a magical offering that she's going to have for us or what the deal is. She already has a store. So, you know, cause you can go in and buy some of these things. So I'm not really sure what it is, but apparently it's going to be announced around the time that, um, we'll be getting our May box or maybe, I don't know, it's coming up. So that's super exciting. So what do you guys think about this box? I think it was an excellent box. Everything smells amazing. This plaque is just gorgeous and it's, it almost sounds like we're going to be getting one for each, um, Sabbath this year. So I'm definitely, I, I'm not ever going to get rid of this subscription. It's literally like my favorite at this point of my witchy subscriptions. So this video is running forever long. I'm so sorry. I've talked a lot, um, but there's some amaz amazing products in here. Um, thanks for joining me. I'd love it if you guys would hit the little thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below what you think. If you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would take a chance on me and subscribe and follow me along. You guys can connect with me on Instagram as well. I have lots of things there. Thanks again. Have a great day.